Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Average Gamer and welcome back to another video. Um, we are carrying on with our Alan Wake Remastered Let's Play. It's going to be part 8. We finished episode 3, I uploaded all 3 videos at once because, well, they were fun as hell to do. Oh my god, it was mental. That was an intense, intense episode. A really, oh... I loved it, but I wasn't a fan at times, if you know what I mean, when it just gets too mental, you're like, oh my god, please just, just let it stop. But now it's really good fun, really enjoyed it, and we're going to be carrying on the series. I am filming this on a day off, and I'm hoping to smash everything out, of course. If you follow my Instagram, you've already known that. Little plug, go follow my Instagram, linked in the description below, keep up with everything I'm doing. Without further ado, let's crack on. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Me that yeah, a little psychopath just tried to kill us, didn't he? Supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was. So what do you mean it seems to be shifting? It's a horror anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, it's made a thriller. Episode four: The Truth. Stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been. Another episode where I punch you in the face. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're, you're lying. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. This is well weird. Go. They still not changed his clothes. It's like you know, goes flying into a pool full of uh, sorry, a big lake, and then it's like, no, we're not giving you a change of clothes. Foggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else, someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think, couldn't focus. Well, this is weird. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Oh, I hear footsteps. Hello. Good evening, Alan. I don't know. Feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message loud and clear. Huh? Quite right. That's the spirit. Pet you're gorilla. Being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. I do not trust this guy one bit. I trust Dr. Hartman that I know and love from Family Guy, but not you. Aren't here right now. Jack took them out for you looking at trip, Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. This guy wants a fight. I'm bigger than you, big boy. The recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Oh, do you now? Well, isn't that nice of you? Look at that guy. Thinks he's hard. Yeah. You can wait a minute. I'm looking around, seeing what I can find. All right, let's go. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. Paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. 
Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go I, this way. I don't believe him. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your sub. Oh, let me see Rusty again, because I guarantee that guy's dead. The too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy? You know what? Normally I'd probably agree with you, but you're a bit of a prick, so no. By nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. I don't believe a damn word comes out of your mouth, mate. <laughs> I'm just saying. Especially, I mean, look at, just look at you. You, just, you look like a liar. Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see near a peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. So he's saying she drowned, but how did she drown? Storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Uh. How can I trust a man who genuinely trusts the weather forecast? What I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly you. inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Why does it feel like he's blaming me though? Come along. He's I saying Alice Stroud, he won't tell me how she actually died. And it feels like he's blaming, you know, oh, Paladins is ready to play. I'm playing that later. <laughs> it feels like he's blaming me, uh, Alan Wake, for everything. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt the great outdoors. Oh, so you're a dickhead as well. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Congratulations, you can shoot a animal with a gun and not a camera. You are so. <laughs> you are there. And you think I'm unwell? <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. No, I fucking don't, mate. <laughs> Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you're a bit nuts, aren't you? We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. It's trash, of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Oh, all right, all right. Now I definitely ain't trusting you. You sat in there calling video games trash. I'll have you know you're in a video game, you Rathscallion. You are there, Gran. The typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you continue. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. Ask for visits to be scheduled. Yeah, nah, I don't trust this guy. Engagement therapy, therapy, and the flow work best when actively engaged in shaping them. I don't trust this guy as far as I can throw him. 
whatsoever. Oh, look, it's these two nut jobs. There's a storm coming. Oh, Night Springs, that's a TV show you end up like watching. Wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names I like that. to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. <laughs> the badass! No, that won't do. Oh, well, I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? No, I don't think anything you say is for the best. You creep me out more than that old lady. Oh, he loved to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. I love that guy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. Oh, right, maybe they are nuts. Find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. What on earth are those two on? Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Oh, that's TV that I think we're going to have to play with later. I like the Andersons. Ah. Yeah. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later the on. The doors Birch. were locked. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no gotcha. way to get my hands on them. I'm not myself. It's oh, hard. hello. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh when he does that. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. Alright, that's creepy. Bye. I've made a horrible oh, mistake. you're still speaking. I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me. Oh, yeah. Right. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Ah, uh, we'll probably have to activate that later. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Who the you hell? Get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Who the hell's speaking to me? Right. Okay. The white glare of a blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. <clears throat> oh, someone's going off. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm going to go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Shut up, Gorilla Boy. Asshole. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh, manuscript page. Let's read it quickly. Barry in the Lodge. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. 
place. Mm. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. <coughs> All right, Barry's got our back. Even if he is a bit of a weirdo. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. Cheers, guys. They did for all my manuscript pages. That's where they could keep me there. All right, so now we're off to Hartman's office. I like those guys. They're helpful. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lot. Isn't that the kidnapper? I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Okay, this looks normal. There's a radio. The, the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me? I hope you guys can hear this, but I really want to listen to this one. Okay, so Okay, so I get the gist there because it's not very loud at all. Alan's obviously struggling, we know, with his career and with himself. Oh, what? What the hell's going on now? Barry? It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. Oh. The cops found me a Rose's trail. Oh no, it's glitched out. Too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such, or else I'd sue their asses. I have a horrific feeling this is just glitched out. It gave me a real hard time, but and I, I can't open the lock. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. <laughs> That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Oh, come on. No. Oh, it's completely not really glitched out. Right, bear with me, guys. I'm gonna. Oh, hello. Is it gonna move? Come on. Come on. You can do this, Alan. You can do this! No, I've kind of got myself stuck. Oh! Yes! Well done, Alan. You, you figured it out. Oh, crap. There's a gun. Pages I had on me and more. Alan, please, you're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Nice, do it. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on, let's work together on this. You have no idea. Parker, shut up, Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Oh, uh, Alan's officially flipped. Listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Okay, that happened. Oh. 
Okay, this isn't good. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh, that's not ideal either. Yep, come on, open the lock quickly. Alright, uh I think if we maybe go up these stairs. Yep, because we know we've got this generator here. Yeah! Do your thing, Light. Okay, see, this is what I love about this game. It just goes from 0 to 100, like, really quickly. Right, I'm guessing we've got to go downstairs because it's clearing the way for us. Oh, no, you don't. We're not having any of this. Oh. Okay. We'll take a flare gun. I hope that I was meant to use that. Yep, yeah, I was. All right, good. Oh, look, TV again. It's more of that show. Well, guess what? With this loud music, I definitely can't listen to it. A manuscript. Wait, Hartman's Mission. Okay, I do want to read that one. Ha! Oh, goes from zero to 100 so quick. Oh, wait. I want to read all of these now. Followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. I feel like Hartman is injecting Alan with stuff and maybe has worked without this. And I'm kind of just hypothesizing here, but he's injected Alan with some sort of sedative and drug that makes his mind go crazy a little bit that will allow him to write something truly spectacular and then he can benefit from that. That's my thinking. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had oh, no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Okay, yeah, so he's messing with people of a creative nature in order to be kind of their director and help them make their own stories that he can ultimately benefit from. All right. <clears throat> Kudos, it's pretty clever. Oh, Jesus. All right, that's gonna come flying through. No, it's still not going to come flying through. Now it is. And we're going to run. Can you uh, open the door for me, please? I, I would really appreciate it if you'd open the door. I'm going to have to dodge it at the correct time, and I? Yeah! Skills! Yeah, give me that fucking Barry, flashlight. Take this, Al. Damn right. Oh, house, oh my life! Alright. <sighs> yep, yeah, come on. Let's get into a safe haven. 
amazingly, that's what I wouldn't mind doing. Because um, this is all a bit too mental. And I need to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Oh, this is... I've only... I've not long woke up as I'm filming this. I'm still a bit groggy. But this is just mental. I love it. So much fun. Oh, how you doing? Don't trust Emil. Who's Emil? What is Emil and who is Emil? I'm being careful. Oh! Oh! Yeah, come on. Reload! I'm out of ammo. No! Not what I needed. Oh, he's quick as well. I need that manuscript page. Run! Oh, shit. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, that... I had flares. What was I doing? Oh, I'm a Muppet. Right. Have I got that manuscript page? Yes, I do. Hartman and the Power Failure. Okay. Well, at least I have more ammo. Alright. Uh, batteries will go this way. Nope. That's a dead end. Because the last way I kind of got myself a bit stuck. You know, with them big boys. Oh, and I'm glad we've come back because we missed a manuscript page. I want to get out of here. And we missed revolver ammo. Right, okay. Yeah, they can come for me all they want. They ain't getting anywhere. How do you do? Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh dearie me. Reload quickly. Oh my life. Thank God for that. Manuscript page. Okay. Which way do we go through here? Uh, this way. What the hell is that noise? Thank God for that. That was terrifying. But we survived because I'm not completely shit. Oh, sick, it's Gorilla Boy. And he... can summon birds. Great.
Right, this ain't good. I am struggling to fight off the birds. No! Come on! Oh shit. Right, thank god for that. Okay, I'm focused. I'm scared, but I'm focused. Oh, that was, that was annoying. I hate the birds. Especially when, that's the first time I think we've had birds and those guys coming at us. It's pretty bloody mental. <clears throat> oh, just what I need. Go away, please. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you. Why are there so many massive men in this town? And there's so many little ones. There's like no in between. I wonder what they're feeding people here. Okay. <clears throat> uh -huh. I like this place. Because there's a shotgun. Yeah, you ain't ready for this now, people. This looks like the perfect place for an ambush. Told ya. Oh! Psych! Yep, yeah, there we go. Problem solved. I will take a flare. I wouldn't mind an unlimited number of flashbangs. That would be fun. Oh, shit, mate. Ow! Unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. All right, we're going to take a minute to read this one. Barry attacked by Taken. Was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned and heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Oh no, I hope nothing bad happens to Barry. Apart from his awful fashion sense, he's been a pretty cool guy. Emil made Tom do it. Oh yeah, it's referencing the two people that kind of fell in love and had that tragic accident. Alright, now I'm understanding. Oh, there must be a reason I can kind of go through here. Maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Uh, where do we go now? Around here. Oh, will you please bugger off? Where, where are you going? Yeah, come on. You're annoying. Oh, nice shot. For a game that doesn't have an iron sight mechanic, they really do it really well. They, it, it's the mechanics of the game are very good. All right, it's stocking us right up. I have a slightly bad feeling about something. 
Uh, we have a manuscript page. Hartman sedates wake. I want to read this one. Features slackened. The man was bullheaded. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. Huh? Good. With a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well. Tom. Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. First of all, fucking disgusting. Second of all, Tom is the bloke that we know kind of almost is the start of all this. So, is Hartman and his, clearly Hartman and his subjects and, well, his weird experiments are responsible for all this. I like it. I like where the story's going. Hey, Barry. Oh great. I'll find it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> I gotta I've got a way for Barry to deal with that. Is this a joke? No, okay. This is some sort of sick joke, isn't it? I don't care if you found a quarter, Barry. Oh, hell no. No, I couldn't turn in time. Damn it. Dodge! No! No! I was so close! So fucking close! Oh! Oh my god, finally. Come on, get out of my way! Jesus, that was... Oh. That took me about four or five attempts because I just could not live for long enough. You will have only seen maybe two. Because it took so long, I'm not going to include it all because the video would be stupid. Oh my life. That was frustrating. I kept trying to like run away from them and then run back when I was trying to kill them all. I tried to kill just the little ones and then the big ones. Oh, but I did it. And that's all that matters. <laughs> For goodness sake. Come on, Barry, get us to safety. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. Oh, really? If you say so.
Oh, that was too creepy. I'm crazy, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, but it's fine. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Ow. I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. You're right, you are crazy. Manuscript to take over every Ow, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before, it happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Oh, shit. Why does everything go horribly wrong? Always something goes wrong. God damn it, I'll talk to me. Oh great, you can't run as it is and now you broke your freaking leg. Alright guys, well I'm gonna end that episode there. Oh, this game goes from zero to a hundred like that, and it is mental. But that um, little, shall we say, boss fight, for lack of a better term, the onslaught of the Taken. Oh my life, that was horrible. Like I say, you're only going to see like two tries. That took me a fair few. <laughs> I think about five. But this game is so much fun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Let's Plays. Because I tell you what, Alan Wake, I mean, it feels like we're just getting into it. It is really kicking off in terms of how good this story is getting. But once finished Alan Wake, we've got Resi 2. We've got Necromunda that we're playing. I'm going to aim to get that finished by the end of the week. So, yeah, lots going on here on the channel. Don't forget to follow my Instagram down below to keep up with everything I'm doing. But other than that, it's been lovely having you around. I've uh, been The Average Gamer, and until I see you next time, take care. Bye.